While all eyes were on the DNC this week, MIT released some data that confirmed our worst fears about the Supreme Court. The university's incoming class will be significantly less diverse than in previous years, and that's thanks to last year's ruling that gutted affirmative action. MIT, one of the first to release enrollment data since that ruling, says its percentage of black students dropped to 5% from 15% last year. And the percentage of Hispanic and Latino students dropped to 11% down from 16%. Overall, all racial and ethnic minority groups had a decrease in enrollment except for Asian Americans who had a 7% increase. And the university actually saw this coming. It was among several universities and colleges that signed an amicus brief to the high court two years ago in support of keeping race-conscious admissions. Joining me now, Eddie Glaude Jr., James S. McDonnell, distinguished professor at Princeton University. He's also an MSNBC political analyst. Professor, it is great to see you as always. So this is not a surprise to anyone. I think when SCOTUS struck down affirmative action, you and others warned us about the impact this would have on students of color, saying that we would begin to see a kind of segregated higher education landscape. Your initial reaction now that we have seen these uh, initial new numbers from one university, and what are you hearing from others in academia? Well, first of all, it's great to see you, Eamon. Um, we knew this was going to happen, as you said. Uh, I suspect that the data will be similar at the other Ivies, my own institution, Princeton, Harvard, Yale, Dartmouth, Penn, uh, Cornell, uh, and the like. We should probably see this across the board in terms of elite institutions and, 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 and you know, ranking or top state public institutions. Uh, you know, you, we knew this. We knew the data. We saw what happened in California. Uh, we know just 10 years after Prop 209 was passed, uh, only 96 freshmen, black freshmen, were admitted to a class of over 4,000 at UCLA. We saw a 44 percent decline between 2006 and 2022 uh, at the University of Michigan. And so this was, in fact, the expected outcome. And what's so tragic about it, there are, so, there are those folk who are reading this outcome as an example of what happens when merit uh, is taken as the principal uh, deciding factor, when, in fact, this is actually proving the opposite, Amy.